Okay, in this video episode, I'm going to show you how to find the equation of this curve here in green right over there. So let me just go through the question with you. The question is, find the equation of the graph on the right of function x. Function x is this guy here. It's x cubed minus 2x squared plus x. So this is function x over here. So it's function x. That's our function x there. What we want to find is this function right over here and how we're going to find it because we haven't been given an equation. All we have is the equation, the equation of this function here on the left. So how do we find it? Well, we take a closer look at this and you'll see that this function is identical to this function except it's moved two units or three units to the right. So it's same size, same shape, it's just the same thing shifted to the right. So it looks like it's a horizontal translation and it's moving to the right. Now when we move to the right and we write the function, we always do the opposite in sign. So to the right isn't necessarily positive, it's negative when we go that way. So remember, if you've got something in brackets, it's a negative, it means moving to the right. Now we know it's moving to the right, but how many units? So we're going to pick a point on the left hand side uh, function and count for the same point on the right hand side function. So I'm going to pick a point, let's say I pick the point um, over here, right? Right there at the origin. If I move, how many units do I need to go to go to the same point? Well, that'll be one, two, two units to the right. Okay, let's pick another point. Let me pick this point. One, two, two units to the right. Let me pick another point right over here. One, two, two units to the right. So that means we are moving to the right horizontally along the x-axis two units to the right so it's two units to the right two units right so what does that mean how's the function going to be written well if function x is this the opposite sign because it's to the right we're going to use a minus so this function is going to be function x minus how many units? Two. Function x minus two is on the right. Okay? Because we're moving to the right two units, so we're going to have a minus there. Remember, minus is to the right. Okay, we've established it's function x minus two, but how do we come up with the equation of this green function there? Well, all we have to do is substitute x minus two into this equation, simplify it, and we'll have the new equation for this uh, function over there on the right. So let's go ahead and substitute in there. So we will replace, anytime we see an x, we're going to replace it with x minus 2. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's substitute straight into that. So function x minus 2 is equal to x minus 2 cubed, x minus 2 all cubed, minus 2 times x minus 2 all squared plus x minus 2. All we did was replace every single x with x minus 2. All we got to do is simplify and that, that'll give us the equation for this function on the right. So let's go ahead and simplify this now. It's x minus 2 all cubed. So that'll be written as x minus 2, x minus 2, x minus 2, minus 2 times x minus 2, x minus 2, plus x minus 2 on the end. All right, let's start to simplify this. I'm going to expand the right-hand side here, so I'm going to go x minus 2. And expanding the right-hand side will be x times x. We're going to use the FOIL method here, right? We're going to use the FOIL method. So it's x squared minus 2x minus another 2x is minus 4x. Negative 2, negative 2, it's going to be plus 4. All right, minus, same thing here. x, x is x squared. So that's going to be minus 2 times x squared. Same thing as this, minus 4x, because minus 2x minus 2x is minus 4x, uh, plus 4 because negative 2 times negative 2 is plus 4, and then we got plus x 
minus 2. Just drag and drop these guys down there. So let's start to further simplify here. We're going to use the FOIL method. We've got a binomial here with a trinomial. So it's going to be x times x squared, x times minus 4x, x times positive 4, then minus 2 times x squared, minus 2 times negative 4x, and minus 2 times positive 4. Let's go ahead and do that. So that's going to be x times x squared. That's going to be x cubed. And then it's x times minus 4x. That's going to be minus 4x squared. And then it's going to be minus, then it's going to be x times positive 4. That's going to be plus 4x. Then we're going to go minus 2 times x squared, minus 2 times x squared, minus 2 times minus 4x. That's going to be a positive 2 fours are 8x plus 8x. And then we got minus times a positive is a minus 2 fours are 8 minus 8. Now we're going over to here. Let me just put a little line here so we can keep it clear. Then it's minus 2 times x squared. It's minus 2x squared. And then minus and a minus, that's a positive. That's 2 fours are 8x plus 8x. Yep. And then minus 2 times positive 4. That's going to be negative 8. Negative 2 is minus 8. Minus 8. And then finally, we've got the plus x minus 2. Plus x minus 2. Let's continue over here. So we want to find like terms. So we're going to have x cubed. Well, we got a minus 4x squared. We've got a minus 2x squared. We've got another minus 2x squared. So that's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's minus 8 x squared. So we're going to go minus 8x squared, minus 8x squared. Now what else do we have? Well, we got a plus 4x, and we have a plus 8x, and we have another 8x here, right there, and we have another x there. So we have 4 and 8, that's a like term, that makes it 12, plus another 8 is 20, plus another one is 21. So it's plus 21, plus 21 x. Okay, what else have we got? Well, we've got, we got the constants here. We've got a minus 8, a minus 8, and a minus 2. So I want that one, that's a like term, minus 8 and minus 2. So minus 8 minus another 8 is minus 16, minus another 2 is minus 18. Yep, minus 18. So we have minus 18. There you have it. So function x minus 2 is equal to x cubed minus 8x squared plus 21x minus 18. Okay, there we have it. So the equation over here on the right, that's the previous one, shifted to the right, function x minus 2 is, and I'll just read it to, function x minus 2 equals x cubed minus 8x squared plus 21x minus 18. Hope that helps.